I don't I don't understand why this is even a hard choice, really. I yeah. don't understand it. Yeah. But we have to go through the election and hopefully people will realize what's at stake because it's an existential uh, question. Beer brewed here. It is used to make the brew beer. It is the final. Oh, Earth Riders. Hey, yo, what the? What is good, YouTube family? It's your boy, Shop. We back again with the Black Anomaly Rising channel. So I got to talk to y'all about Hillary Clinton, the lady who really should be irrelevant at this point. I mean, she literally lost to Trump when he had like practically no pedigree at the time, no track record in government no history, pretty much no path to victory. The fact that he was able to win at all at that time just really goes to show you how weak of a candidate Hillary Clinton actually was, okay? But no, she's still a talking mouthpiece, a Democrat shill, a tyrannical radical leftist who just keeps going off and keeps insulting her constituents. Honestly, like everything that comes out of this lady's mouth comes across as very insulting to me. Uh, I'm going to show you all a clip that she just, I forget this dude's name. I don't, I don't even care what this dude's name is. Okay. Like he's, he doesn't seem like he's that funny to me. And I don't really watch a whole lot of cable television. I, I pretty much just watch the news basically exclusively most of the time. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and react to this clip of Hillary Clinton basically telling people, oh, well, just vote for Biden. Like what the heck's wrong with you? Just vote for him. Biden versus Trump. Uh, yes, we know that. It what, is. Oh, it is. What do, you, what do you say to voters who are upset that those are the two choices? Get over yourself. Those are the two choices. Yeah. Uh, well, first off, no, Hillary. You get over yourself. I'm going to do what the heck I want to do. And that's what every voter should do. Okay? If somebody wants to vote for RFK Jr., they can vote for RFK Jr. and be happy about it. If they don't want to vote at all, then they don't have to vote at all. Okay, but if people also want to be upset because it's not somebody else, they could be upset too. This is what these Democrats don't get. You don't tell everybody what to do. People have freedom in this country. Okay, people like Hillary and her elitist class, she doesn't quite get that. The people like her are totally out of touch. <laughs> like she could have people literally screaming in her face all day that are people like me telling her exactly what we want and she'll just sit up there and, and be confused about it immediately after the conversation's over. <laughs> like this is how people like her operate. Right, and, yeah, and good. you know, it's kind of like one is old and effective and compassionate, yeah. has a heart. Effective? What? Fool, slap yourself three times compassionate and have a okay so th this who y'all want for president uh compassionate has a heart and uh, who hillary claims is effective even though uh record levels of inflation extremely high prices crime getting out of control illegal immigration rampant must i go on not to mention being on the brink of world war three i don't think hillary knows what the heck she's talking about and really cares about people and one is old and has been charged with 91 felonies. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean... Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, by the freaking cuckoo court, okay, this court is wacky, and a lot of those charges were dropped, in case you guys forgot. So, in the Rico case that uh, Fonnie Willis out of uh, Fulton County brought, the charges were dropped against Trump and some of the code defendants, okay? A lot of this stuff against Trump has no evidence. That's why in the financial fraud case and in the grape case, that's the reason why they went civil because they knew that they could secure a conviction or at least a ruling from the judge and they could try to get some sort of punitive damages against Trump. Whereas when you have criminal cases, which Trump has not been convicted of anything criminally, that's the reason why they went civil. You actually have to have evidence for criminal trials, and it has to be fairly strong evidence most of the time. Technically, a jury could just say, we hate this person, just throw him in jail. But the preponderance of evidence is something that they do not have. At least as far as we know up to this point, there has not been any hard evidence against Trump for anything that he's been accused of ever <laughs> yeah, I, I don't i don't understand why this is even a hard choice really i yeah. don't understand it yeah but i don't understand either just vote trump we have to go through the election and hopefully people will 
realize what's at stake because it's an existential uh, question. I, what kind of country we're going to have, what kind of democracy we're going to have. And people who blow that off are not paying attention because it's not like Trump, his enablers, his empowerers, his allies are not telling us what they want to do. Right. Well, I know one thing I don't want. I don't want more vax mandates. OK, I don't want uh, OSHA to be used to make sure that if I don't uh, get forced to get the poke, then all of a sudden I'm going to lose my job. I mean, for those who are new to the channel or newer, that is one of the main things. If there had to be something known as a catalyst that pushed me away from the Democrat Party for good, it was them trying to force that freaking COVID jab. OK, that's the reason the C-19 jab. That's the reason why I was like, OK, I'm done with y'all. I'm not messing with y'all. You guys are doing everything that you accuse. Trump of doing, which is trying to be a dictator, trying to censor social media. Joe Biden was censoring social media platforms. I just did a video about that where RFK exposes him for doing that, weaponizing the legal systems in a kangaroo court against political opponents, right? Uh, making it where you could not evict people from your home. If you were a homeowner, you work hard as hell your whole life to get a house, and then you bring somebody in there, you can't even evict them. But oh, your, your mortgage is still due, so you can still lose your house if you can't pay it, and they can still process uh, foreclosures, but you can't process evictions. This is how the authoritarian left works, and Hillary Clinton's over here trying to gaslight as if she's on some sort of more high ground. I'm not buying it, Hillary, okay? And neither are the American people either, not to mention Hillary Clinton's also an uh, election denier, and she's right now... She's literally questioning the authenticity of the 2024 election before it's even happened. Right wing extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. And they're not making a secret of it. Just think, if that happens, the 2024 presidential election could be decided not by the popular vote or even by the anachronistic electoral college, but by state legislatures, many of them Republican controlled. So after seeing a clip like this, you think that the Republican conservatives are the radicals? I mean, at least Trump waited till after the election happened, saw that it was a freaking travesty. It was a complete farce of an election in 2020. And then he posed some legal challenges. He didn't just do a bunch of illegal stuff like they're claiming that he did. He did legal challenges, which obviously the leftists disagree with because anything that obviously goes in their favor, they're going to agree with, right? But Hillary Clinton's already ready. She's ready for the election denialism when Trump wins because she knows that the writing's on the wall. She knows she's cooked. It's over. Nothing she could do. There's nothing. It don't matter when they, they could bring out all the infinity stones they like. They could bring out uh, reparations and claim they're going to do something that literally black people have been promised for like the last 50 years, longer, 60, 70 years, haven't got them yet. They could bring out Obama. Okay. The, the last infinity stone, the most powerful of all, not going to work. They already tried bringing out Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, bringing her out is probably going to lose y'all votes. Cause a lot of people don't like Hillary. A lot of people are up on her and what she's on, okay, you can try anything you want, but the one thing that these people won't try is actually listening to what the American people are telling them. And that's that we don't want some sorry behind authoritarian, leftist, radical, communistic regime. That's not what we want in America. We want freedom. We want closed borders, okay? We wanna feel secure in our, uh, with crime, we don't want just crime all over the freaking place. We don't want people cooking the books to try to make it seem like the prices of goods and services are not sky high, literally spitting on our face, lying to us, trying to say, oh, well, the prices aren't that high. The prices are going down. For, down from what? Down from their peak is what they like to say. We don't want what you guys are providing. Provide something else, otherwise you're cooked, you're done. I mean, what is Hillary's job? Like, where does this chick even work anymore? Why is she still talking? We tired of listening to you, Hillary. Thanks for the views on this video, though.
Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate y'all watching the Black Anomaly Rising channel. I'm out. I think it's disgraceful, and I think she should be ashamed of herself if you want to know the truth. Can we please hold the applause?